Coming up next, the matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. All right, here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Van Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight Championship of the world. Introducing the fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 28 wins, 11 losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Fontana, California, presenting the challenger, Bobby King Green. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. You ready? So here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself thinking this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on this play tonight. He connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Oh, yeah, right here. Just misses with the straight right. A couple of chins here being tested early. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Lands a big right hand early. All 
right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Got the single collar tie. Punch coming, it's blocked. Ooh, we what a right hand by this young man. Punch over the top. Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there. But as he leans forward in trying to get into his own striking range, he's going to pay the price there to the body. Got to be careful. You don't want to get too many of those power hooks downstairs. Back and forth we go here. Three minutes. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Green. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Big call from Punch Land. Now we get back to range. Beautiful body kick. Nice connection by him. Green gets hit with a kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Green. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Clean left punch followed by the right. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Swing and a big miss by Lee. Nice kick there by Green. Oh, collar tie. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this one. His head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Great one. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Round two winding down. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, let's get to round two. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Flips that left hand. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Up. 
Punch is blocked. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside side. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Green gets touched by that kick there. And he landed the right hand there. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Shot is blocked there by Green. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Touched by that kick to the body. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, the score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Effective punch there by Lee. Switching stances here. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Kick to the body by Lee. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Close guard. Working on a guillotine. Transition to side mount as he counters the guillotine. Might be able to sink in a Von Flu choke here. much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And how about the way he got it done tonight? 
a spectacular submission to finish the job. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, and still... So there he is, the still UFC lightweight champion of the world. A lot of steam here during fight week that maybe there were a few things that could plague him tonight. Looked as good as ever for my mom. He looked as good as he's ever looked inside the octagon. He's so good at...